Brains. That's right, we're ranking zombie films in this tier list video, starting off with George Romero's 1978 film, Dawn of the Dead. By today's standards, the original Dawn of the Dead is probably a dated film when it comes to its special effects. You have grayish blue zombies, you have head explosions that, albeit cool, don't look the best, and you have this bright red Italian blood throughout the film. But for me, that is why I personally love the movie. It captures the late 70s perfectly, in my opinion. Having the film take place in a shopping mall, I thought was a really good idea. Very creative. So many things can happen inside the mall. You have really strong characters. You have Peter, Roger, Francine, and Flyboy. Some of my personal favorite characters out of any zombie film. And honestly, it is just a quintessential watch if you are a zombie fan. Dawn of the Dead goes in S tier. Let's talk about the remake of Dawn of the Dead. Now I checked this one out as a kid. I actually watched it before the original and it terrified me to death. I thought the zombies in this film were absolutely frightening. They were vicious, they were ferocious. They would just stop at nothing to get their hands on you. And I really liked that modern take on the zombie. I think Zack Snyder did a great job directing. Uh, very fast paced, very just, you know, non-stop not letting up and i love that about the movie because it serves as a different experience than the original but i do think that the characters in the original and just the the shopping mall itself and the themes i thought were done better in the original but oh boy this film is ferocious i thought the special effects were really good i dug the characters i just think the original did it a little bit better but overall I think that the remake is not only a damn good remake, but a damn good zombie film. I would place it in the A tier. Up next is 28 Days Later. Now I know this is considered to be an infection film, and I'm not even going to dispute that fact. I checked out 28 Days Later when I was very young, and wow, it absolutely terrified me. The zombies, or the infected, were very frightening. They did not stop. They were ruthless. They were relentless. And I really felt bad for the main character of Jim waking up in the middle of the apocalypse and not knowing what was going on. And I love the way that the film was shot as well. Very grimy, gritty, dirty, dark. It is not a very well polished film and I love it for that reason. It's almost like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre where you kind of don't want to upgrade to like the Blu-ray or the 4K because there's something special about the way the film was shot. And even if you consider it an infection film, or a zombie film, I have to include it on my list. I think that it is a very damn good film. I'm putting 28 Days Later in the A tier. Let's talk about the sequel, 28 Weeks Later. The opening to the film I thought was absolutely phenomenal. Had my adrenaline pumping. Very explosive opening. Very just fast paced. But other than that, I think the film is serviceable. I think it is a little bit of a disappointment going from 28 days later to 28 weeks later, kind of middle of the road. Uh, I would probably put 28 weeks later in B tier. Moving on to Scout's Guide to the Apocalypse. This is one that I was kind of excited for when it came out and I watched it and you know, it wasn't bad, but I don't know. I just, I was wanting more from the movie. I thought it had a very good concept and I thought that it could have done more. But overall, it's okay. I'm going to put it in the C tier. Up next, we have Zombieland. I'm a sucker for a good zombie comedy, and this is definitely one of them. This film made me fall in love with Woody Harrelson. Love the character of Tallahassee. I love Columbus, Wichita, Little Rock. All the characters I thought were very solid. Cool concept. Love the film. And who doesn't like Bill fucking Murray? Zombieland goes in A tier. Moving on to The Return of the Living Dead. This movie fucking rocks. I love this movie. It is set in Louisville, Kentucky, which is one of the only zombie films that I know of that is set in Kentucky, which is where I'm from. Automatically gets points there. You have really good characters. Literally the first 30 minutes of this movie has me in stitches with the banter between Frank, Bert, Freddy. I love the whole warehouse scene. The whole movie itself is literally so much fun from start to finish like i said the horror the comedy perfect blend i think it is one of the best zombie films of all time and it deserves s tier let's talk about the sequel the return of the living dead 
part two. In my opinion, the film unfortunately swapped the horror and the comedy. The comedy don't work and it's not very scary. Now I do get where people can find enjoyment with this movie. I've tried to watch it and man, I just think it's boring. It doesn't work, not nearly nearly as effective as the original. Is it one of the worst zombie movies I've ever watched? No, it just doesn't do much for me. So I'm putting it in C tier. Let's talk about part three of The Return of the Living Dead. Now this one automatically gets points because it doesn't try to be like the original. Actually, it's not even about the whole zombie apocalypse, which I think is really cool. It is a side story about a couple that, you know, some tragedy happens. They break into a military base and stuff goes down. That's all I'll say. You get a lot of cool zombies in this one. Not a whole lot of comedy in my opinion, but it didn't need to have it. The story that it was trying to tell, very simple, straightforward, didn't need a lot of comedy. It did its own thing and that is what I appreciate the most about this one. I think it's a pretty good zombie film. I'm going to put it in B tier. Up next we have Zombie or Zombie 2 or Zombie Flesh Eaters. Why is this called Zombie 2? Well, let me tell you. Dawn of the Dead was called Zombie in Italy and oh yeah they had to milk that and bring out this film. It's not that bad. I actually really do enjoy Zombie Flesh Eaters. There's a particular scene that you might have seen before. It makes my eye really hurt. I love the effects in this film. The zombies look radically different from you know anything around this time period that you know I've watched and I really do appreciate that the Italians definitely know how to do things differently and you got that really cool zombie versus shark fight scene that alone is worth checking this film out I'm gonna put zombie in B tier moving on to everybody's favorite house of the dead I thought the games are pretty fun but the movie no it goes in D tier Moving on to Shaun of the Dead, I think that this is a great zombie comedy, really a love letter to Dawn of the Dead. I love the character of Shaun, really can relate to him in some ways. You got Ed, who was a fucking hilarious character in my opinion. All the jokes in the film, even though it's that British humor, I feel it really hits with me personally. I've loved it as a kid, I love it now, and I think I'll always continue to love this movie. It is one you should definitely check out. Shaun of the Dead goes in A tier. Up next is the original Day of the Dead. Now, when I first watched the film, I thought that, you know, it's an okay zombie film. Dawn of the Dead is still better. But over the years, the more that I watch it, the more that I just really, really enjoyed the film to the point where now it is my favorite zombie film of all time. I think that Day of the Dead greatly improved on the special effects. I like the score better. And even though the characters are not as good as they are in Dawn, I will give you that, I really love the themes where you have the scientists on one side, you have the military on the other. To me, it's such a compelling story that no matter what, their ideas always clash. They cannot pull their heads out of their own asses and work together. It is the zombie apocalypse. It's the end of the world and we can't work together. It shows that us as human beings are flawed and that is very realistic because in many ways without getting too political because I really don't dive into that stuff, it seems like that's how it is today. I think that Day of the Dead has some things in there that you really don't pick up on when you first watch the film, but after multiple viewings, it just clicked with me and I really, really love this film. Obviously, it's my favorite, so I'm putting it in S tier. Let's talk about the sequel, Day of the Dead 2. Oh, I have a lot to say about this one. Um, it's dog shit. D tier. Moving on to the Day of the Dead remake. Definitely not a good remake, but it is better than Day of the Dead 2. And it has some entertaining parts in it. It's kind of so bad that it's good, and I can watch it for that. So just for that, I'm putting it in C tier. Up next is Dead Snow. I remember being younger and finding this movie because I was obsessed with Call of Duty Zombies and I was looking up all kinds of zombie films, ran into this one and I was like, wow, this is kind of like World at War and uh, checked it out and had a lot of fun with it. It is a good zombie comedy, uh, one that I think is really fun from start to finish. Very over the top. If you're not into that, you probably won't like this one, but I really enjoyed it. I'm going to put Dead Snow at B tier. 
Up next is Train to Busan. I think I've only watched this one one time when it first came out, so it's been a couple of years, but I really remember this one being a very good, solid zombie film from start to finish. I think I need to rewatch it, but from my memory, I'm gonna put it in the A tier. Up next is Horde. This is also one that I you know, caught many years ago. I think I found it on Netflix. I was searching for some zombie films that, you know, that weren't the mainstream ones, the ones that I've not seen before. Pop this one on. Wow, it was a wild ride from start to finish. A lot of action. I thought the plot was really cool as well. I need to rewatch this one, but from memory, I'm going to place it in the B tier. Up next, we have the original Night of the Living Dead and the remake. I'm going to group these two together because I kind of feel the same way about both of them. At first, I wasn't a huge fan of Night of the Living Dead. I thought that, you know, black and white horror films as a kid, I thought were kind of boring, if I'm being honest. But over the years, I've started to really enjoy the film more and more. Really think I didn't appreciate what it did for the flesh-eating zombie subgenre. You wouldn't have The Walking Dead. You wouldn't have anything without Night of the Living Dead. And the remake, I think, is just as good. Tony Todd does a phenomenal job as Ben. I thought Tom Savini did a great job directing. I think Barbara was a huge upgrade in the remake compared to the original. But I can't really say enough good things about both films. If you've not watched them, then you're a zombie fan. What are you doing? I think these belong in A tier. And now I'm gonna organize it and show you guys my final ranking. Let me know how you would rank these zombie films down below in the comments.